Another Monday game review. Today we'll be reviewing a game called um, Bill's Fetal. It's been out a while on Steam. It's been in early access since uh, 2017. It just released full release into out of early access. It's fully released now. You guys can check it out with the link below down in the description. There's Thanks again to the devs for sending a copy of the game for me to check out what new on the full release of the game. Here we go, let's jump into it quick, yeah. Good game. Basically, it's basically a 2D village tycoon game where you manage your settlement build houses and fight off enemies that sometimes spawn in you can either fight them or um or pay them off so that they don't attack you just start off Start off obviously with the tutorial. Build our village center quick. Easy. Right, so I've been playing the game a good bit since I got it. So as leader of the town, that's me right there by the way, on the throne. Got a blood. So there is hunger and stamina and everything for villagers so you have to make sure that you have food for you and your villagers as you can see right to the bottom of the the bottom there you'd see the health the one on top is health below that is stamina just below that the hunger slash fullness Based on your hunger or your fullness, to determine what um what your health is. Your um stamina goes down gradually. It's a factor of how long you are not resting for. So if you're not in a bed or
or you're doing some work your stamina will gradually go down there is a limit if you don't take if you don't sleep your stamina would not raise back up as you can see there's a um purple just to the tip of the um stamina blue stamina bar whatever is purple means that it can't raise back up unless you sleep watch at the of the villagers there there is a limit there so once that reaches down here stamina would not drive past that unless you sleep so that is a interesting game mechanic with the stamina and everything i need to set the woodcutter to Build a woodcutter. I need one more position. I have to craft a planks, mate. Okay. I'm just going through the tutorial as of right now. Shift and click is the auto transfer. Which I need um, crafting games. As you can see, my stamina right now. Uh, the bottom will be black, but if you watch closely right above my crafter's head. The I'm gonna about to turn in grey. Once it's done, once that goes down, it would go back up to the limit where it's grey. That grey bar gradually goes down if you don't take any sleep. Not enough resources. Right, I think I crafted it all. Uh, it's another wooden chest. Uh, um, this one the arrows on this little arrow there that signifies where they you can um access it or not i 
Right, we have a new uh, peasant. Let's set that person to be a crafter. Right. I have to keep my eyes on my hunger. One shot. Right, so the bill is or oh. so you can assign um two roles, two jobs per um villager slash peasant. So like I have the hunter here if I want him to have a secondary job of mining that rule by default the secondary job if mover that means they can if they're not doing their default job it'll move resources around for you there is a durability of the um tool so you would have to Watch out for the tools. As it does. The progression system in the game is really complex, like right here. You can progress in stone processing, farming, and other stuff. Then, once you complete seven upgrades and seven skills, you can move on to more advanced skills in another age. Age two. Then, can use the age um, points here to. Be able to transfer across what you learned in age one is all the way up to age six where i think which becomes like modern um stuff like books traps and stuff so there is a somewhat complex uh Somewhat complex learning curve and um, progression system.
Yes, password. I did have it running on, so there is in fact a day and night cycle. Again, I'll put the description, full in depth description of the game down in the description of this video. If you guys want to have more of an in depth description, I'll put it down. Oh crap, I need these stones. Right, I was just waiting for this. We have an enemy rubbish room in the forest. Three enemy. Can I just? Even in March, Ah, run, 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 run. Okay, right now I'm just trying to dodge before I die here. No! And I died.
that game is a bit difficult when you reach that stage but all in all it's a very decent game if you guys would like to purchase the game for yourself again there will be a link down in the description below yeah, I'm big talking to the devs for dropping a copy of the game as it just released fully released out of early access I'll see you guys in the next Monday game review if you guys enjoyed I'm out peace